Hello and welcome to Hockey Talkie. My name is Clay. Thank you for tuning in. The Blackhawks announcing that they are bringing a third assistant coach to the staff, uh, bringing our staff count total up to a staggering 55 coaches. Mark Crawford coming over from Ottawa. If you recall, uh, Crawford was the interim head coach for the Senators after Guy Boucher got fired. Uh, before that, he served as an assistant head coach focusing on the defense and the penalty kill unit. I got to say, this is an interesting hire. I'm not really quite sure what to make of it. So first and foremost, obviously, the Hawks aren't hiring Mark Crawford based on his success that he had in Ottawa because there really wasn't a whole lot. The three seasons he spent in Ottawa, not very good. His interim stint as head coach, 7-10-1. Bottom half in the league in penalty kill every single year. One of his focuses while he was there. Even the year that they went to the Eastern Conference Finals and was a double overtime, Chris Kunitz goal away from reaching the Stanley Cup Final, bottom half of the league penalty kill unit. So that in itself is not very promising. Obviously, we hired him based on his success elsewhere. Here's a little history lesson for all you youngins out there and for everyone else, a little refresher on just how fast time flies. 1995-1996, Mark Crawford, head coach of the Colorado Avalanche, team formerly known as the Quebec Nordiques from the year before. Colorado Avalanche would go on to win the Stanley Cup that year, inaugural season in Denver. Mark Crawford awarded the Jack Adams Award, youngest coach to ever win that award at 34 years old. To put that in perspective, Jeremy Colleton, who is a very young coach, is currently 34 years old, which, if you have done the math in your head by now, makes Mark Crawford 58 years old. Moral of the story here is that Mark Crawford had success a long time ago. That's kind of when he made his name. Uh, he has had success over in Europe, uh, most notably uh, Patrick Kane actually played under him during the 2013 lockout portion of that season, which actually kind of bodes well because it seems like maybe there's a little success that comes with Blackhawks playing under Mark Crawford because, well, you know, Patrick Kane goes on to help the Blackhawks win the Stanley Cup in 2013. But uh, I think what we really need to talk about is the fact that Mark Crawford is not being hired on to possibly take over as head coach. Uh, that rumor or that idea is uh, kind of insane to me. This is Jeremy Colleton's team. This is Colleton's team for uh, the future, for the foreseeable future. Even if he struggles this year, I think he is the future coach for this team uh, at, le at least, at least through this year, and definitely into next year. Uh, if there was any time that uh, they uh, would look at firing Coach Colleton, it wouldn't be until years away. They would not have made the decision to let him put in his own system to come in as head coach without the interim title uh, the way that they did last year. He is the coach of the future. Bringing in Mark Crawford... Uh, does not change that. So Crawford's coming in to join the likes of Brookbank, who was with the Hawks last year. Mattel, who has come over from Sweden. He knows Carlton from across the pond there. You have Meacham, who is the head video coach. You have uh, Jimmy Waite, obviously still the goalie coach. And then Crawford's son is actually the assistant video coach. So there's definitely um, connections here, which kind of shows why maybe Crawford was brought in despite his lack of success that he's had in Ottawa uh, recently. So like I said, this is an interesting hire. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how these three assistant coaches, what their roles are defined as because they're not quite uh, defined quite yet. Uh, we know that Crawford worked with defense and penalty kill in Ottawa, but once again, not a whole lot of success there, so maybe things will switch up. We'll have to wait and see on that front. Uh, but yeah, definitely an interesting hire. Would love to see your guys' thoughts down in the comments section below. And with that, I say thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate that as always. But most importantly, stay safe, make good decisions, and I'll see you next time.